to the AM Cuzzle. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to start your bag collection, what you should look out for, your price range, what your do's and do nots, all that good stuff. I'm basing everything off my experience, things that I wish someone would have told me before I just dove all into this bag luxury experience, but I'm here to help the next. So if this is something you want to watch, Continue to watch this video. Do this. Okay, ready? Action. Okay, I go by Zoe. Zoe Ray Artistry. All right, I am Zoe. Go by Zoe Ray Artistry. And All right, let's go. Action. Oh. <laughs> Action. All right, because now nah, I just need to get loose. I wish I had a glass of wine. If you are new here, I'm Zoe, Zoe Ray Artistry, and here on this channel, we talk about a little bit of fashion, beauty, lifestyle, vlogging from time to time, and here, whatever else people are talking about, we're talking about it. And today, we're talking about how to start your bag collection, what is it that you should look out for, what is it that the things you should know, you know, certain um things I guess you want to be well prepared for. All that good stuff. Um, this is all based off my experience. Um, I, I mean, I can give you some little things that I have learned along the way, but you would still have to experience things yourself if, if, if it makes sense. So, I have one bag that I do regret buying, and I wouldn't necessarily say regret buying, I just wish. I put a little more thought into it before buying and this would treat this video today. I said because at first I was going to do bag I regret it, but I said you know what, why not do a video on how to start your collection and what to look out for. Okay, so I got a few little things on my list that you guys should look out for. Okay, first thing you should look out for, you should know what is your style. What's your lifestyle? Do you have kids? Are you on the go? Are you a person that's gonna stay in the house? Are you a person that's gonna be going out and about? All those things play a big factor of getting your bag. If you have kids, I do not recommend a white bag, okay? If you are looking to purchase your fly white, off-white cream bag, and you have kids, and not say you have big kids, I mean, little toddlers, little babies, like things you know you're gonna need to have more than one bag in your hand, plus your, plus your luxury bag. Please do not buy a white bag, an expensive bag, and you know it's gonna get dirty because it will be dirty, it will get dirty. Not only that, I wouldn't carry a necessary, now don't get me wrong, teach your zone if you have the money to buy, Buy you a nice little expensive bag and make it to a diaper bag. But please know it's a it's it's gonna be things that can get in that bag. You're gonna be dropping your bag off nine times out of ten. You know, when you think about that bag, when you think about that baby, or you think about that kid, you can get juice spilled on it because just imagine if the baby has spilled um have juice in their hand, they can spill it on your bag. So before we go out here and make bags out like quote unquote diaper bag, you might wanna put all that into factor of just a lot of wear and tear on your bag. So that's one thing. And that's first, your lifestyle. These bags, when we buy these bags, we buy them intent to use them, right? We buy them with all the intent to show them all. Like, let's, let's be honest, we buy these bags because one, they make us feel good, and then two, we wanna show it off, right? If you are a person who don't go nowhere, who are a homebody, who just wants to sit around and do nothing, don't waste your money. Don't waste your money on something that's just gonna be stored in the closet. Why spend money on all these bags if you're just going to sit around and have them stored away? It don't make sense. Just keep getting your fly 
Zara bags or your fly H&M bags or your dupes. There's nothing wrong with the dupe. If you know you're not that girl who's going to be going out, showing up and showing out, then don't waste your money on these bags just to store them. Because honestly, when you store these bags and keep them in like your um your clothes or keep them stored away too long or as a matter of fact, place them in the wrong um, sunlight, you can damage your bag. These bags hold moisture. These bags get sunburned, sun stains. Like at the end of the day, they're leather and leather can, you know, over time get worn out. So you want to make sure you're using your bag for cost per wear. We want to make sure we're getting our money's worth and we're not sitting here just having bag in the closet just for us to see. At times, in the beginning, you might feel uncomfortable. That, that happens to all of us. You want to feel uncomfortable in the beginning wearing a something thousand dollar bag. It's going to be very uncomfortable. But, girl, walk the bag. You saved up for it. You did what you need to do for it. So now is your time to splurge. Have fun. Do what you do with the bag. Next up, you need to know what's your style. Are you a classic girl or are you a trendy girl? Because going for your classic pieces and knowing, okay, I, I want this piece because I want it for a long time to have to know that it's never going out of style. Classic pieces cost. It's not cheap at all. It's something, it's like an investment piece. So your class, classic pieces are your investment pieces. Um, there's pieces that tend to go higher in price. There are pieces that tend to, when you look back, it still give that good um, vintage antique vibe that you can wear today and you can wear it tomorrow. It, 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 it's wear like wine, baby. Yeah, it, it's good with time. Those are your classic pieces. Your trendy pieces. Your trendy pieces are a piece that you literally going to see every single place, every single where. You can, you will have your moment when you're walking it for a couple of times or just to show it off. But then you, after that, then what? You don't, you're not gonna have really anything to go with it because it's a trendy piece. Um, after a while, you might get tired because it's no longer in style. So you have to know, are you a trendy girl or are you a classic girl? Because those are a big factor. My case, I am starting to realize I'm more so a classic girl. I want classic pieces. Lately, I've been getting pieces that I've uh, been wanting for a long time. And this is how you know if it's a piece is classic or meant for you. If you see a bag that you just can't stop thinking about and it's some years back and it's still on your mind and it still look good in your wardrobe, I mean, it's going with your lifestyle perfectly. That's your classic piece. Get that bag. If you see a trendy bag that you're like, oh, it's cool for right now, but in a couple of years, I know my style going to change. Leave it there. Unless you like that bag and you really think it's just cool for the moment and you just want that bag, that's fine and dandy. But I'm more of a classic girl and I realize I want all the classic pieces. So please know which ones you want to be, classy or trendy. Things that you should know before getting into your bag collection. Are you a tiny bag girl? Are you a big girl? I mean, a big bag girl. You have mini bags that are so cute and adorable but you can barely fit anything in them. Probably a lip gloss, probably a pair of keys and your card. That's pretty much it, all your essentials. But then you have your big bag where you can throw a lot into them, but then the bag can be either heavy or it's just, you know, big and bulky and it's just bumping you and all that good stuff. So you have to understand what's your lifestyle. Do you want a, a bag that's big and can carry everything? Or do you want a bag that's small and can carry barely nothing but it's cute? I used to be. I used to be a big bag girl. I used to have this one bag, and this is before I became a bag girl, because I used to be a shoe girl. I used to love some shoes down. But now I would rather invest into a bag than a shoe because a shoe doesn't hold its value as much as a bag would. So I'm starting to, well, I'm a bad girl now. I'm not to say start. I have, I've been getting some bags for a good minute. So I'm a bad girl now. But if you get a big bag, I used to keep my planners in it. Um, laptop if I was to do any work. Um, 
of course, you know, your cell phone, your chargers, all that stuff. I used to carry big bags just because of that reason. Um, mainly because of my planners. Um, I don't really carry my laptop like that, like that. So that wasn't like a must have. But lately, I have been experiencing that I like little to medium bags. Not necessarily big bags because I no longer carry a lot of things. Um, I still carry my planner, but for the most part, I can put my planner in my hand or I'll put my planner somewhere that it doesn't really require to be in my bag unless I go to work and I just need to like total up bills or something of that nature. Then I'll carry my Dior tote or my um, Louis Vuitton Nino, Nino, one or the other. But for the most bag, for the most bags, for the most part, all my bags are either mini or like medium size. So you need to know, do you want it to be a mini to medium or a big to bigger tote girl? Because that also plays a factor into how you want to start your collection off. Next trend, your colors. You can be a new neutral girl or you can be a bold color girl. Trust me and believe what I say. Your whole closet can look like the rainbow or your whole closet can look like a more neutral tone. I'm starting to realize I am a neutral tone, once in a blue pop, once in a blue color. I like for my bags to be more so black, brown, or tan. I, it's given neutral. Um, I got like one red bag, and that's not even a bag, that's, that's Chanel gift thing that I made into a bag and then I have a blue case spade little false body and I wear that for like my work bag when I do makeup and then I also have like a, another new Bottega dupe that I got from Target but I barely even wear that bag so I wear mostly all my black tan and brown I'm starting to know that I'm a nude chick not nude that I'm a neutral tone I like all my bags neutral tone neutral tone and that will always play a factor of what is your style are you a neutral tone girl neutral tone girl or are you a big bold bright colorful girl because those colors you have to you have to remind yourself those colors are not going to go with every single thing unless it's in your wardrobe the neutrals can go with pretty much anything so that's your part. Now, the bag I regret buying is this bad boy, my Jimmy Choo. I bought her, um, can y'all see? Uh, I bought her probably three years ago. I want to say three years ago, I bought her. Now, this was my treat to myself because I hit a milestone in my business. And I was so pressed for a bag. I did not care what it was, who it was, what it was by. Like, I, I really wasn't into bags, honestly. I was more into shoes, but I wanted to start being in the bag, uh, girls. And I was like, I wanted something different. I wanted something different. And I so happened to see her. And I bought this bag. I don't know what gravitated me to do Jimmy Choo. I don't even own a pair of Jimmy Choo. But I think it was this buckle. This buckle is what got me. Um, the color itself, it's okay. Oh my God. Hang on, let me see. I'm trying to, okay. The color itself, it's okay. It's more so like this pastel baby pink color. Um, it is smooth leather and it, it can strap up easily, but this little stain right here is a little stain right there, but it's nothing too crazy. Yeah, I bought that off. I'm just wearing myself, get some baby wipes and wipe that off. Um, yeah, so it's nothing too crazy, and the inside it does come with a strap, it's nice and suave. It's a three or two slot with one little pocket in the back. And it just say Jimmy Choo. 
And the only thing I really don't like about the bag is that it's magnet. I'm starting to, I'm starting to really, I don't like any bag that's magnet because if you fill her up, if you fill this bag up, it's just going to be like this. So I cannot put a lot in this bag for it to give its proper clothes. And I start to realize, yeah, I, I'm not that girl who likes bags with magnets because of this particular reason right here. And I don't even know if the, it's going to be something like that. Yeah. I, I, I realize, yeah. She not that girl. She not that girl. Um, now, I do know, I want to say that the yours settle bag that I really want, she's magnet, but I wouldn't wear a lot with that bag anyway, so it's not going to be to the point where it's going to mess up my whole vibe. This right here sometimes can mess up my whole vibe because even if I put the bare minimum in here, it just like my car holder, my wallet, and my charger. I need my charger. It can still be sometimes a headache. Um, but she's okay. I just wish I would have had a little more thought process into my bag. Um, I wish, and then I'm on top of that, I wish she was black. She's not black. I feel like if this is black, this would be so more classic and elegant. She's still classic and elegant, but it's mm, it's just not giving what needs to be gave. Um, she's still a beautiful bag. Don't get me wrong. She's still a beautiful bag. I just would I just wish I would have thought a little more when it came to her. That's all. So those are all my tips. If you're getting into this bag collection, if you're want to dibble and dab and get your own, start your own collection, those are all my tips and tricks. I hope this was very helpful. Look, I can't even, we're going to over her later. I hope this was very helpful. If you have any more questions or any more like, okay, but though, what, you know, oh, and price range. Although prices are going up now, that is for you to determine. I cannot determine your wallet, your pocket, what you can and cannot afford. So, save up or do that full payment because I think a lot of luxuries now are offering that full payment. However, make sure you pay that stuff on time like you're supposed to because I'm... I'm I'm all about party now. Make sure your parties are straight first before you dibble and dabble in this stuff because it's a bad habit. Once you get in, it's kind of hard to get out. Trust me. So, pricing is, is, is all on you. But, that is my video for today. I hope you guys love. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Your girl is back. Y'all know I took Wednesday off because I was on like a YouTube brain fart. And I just wanted to make sure whatever I post, it made sense. And that we're just growing on this channel. I want to grow. I want to hit that 500 subscriber mark. So please, 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 cuzzos, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Y'all know, y'all know I don't know how to say that word, but y'all know what I mean. All right. And until next time, Zoe loves you.